Okay, stream is up. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna switch to this. Everything seems to be operational. Let's shift that to live chat and this to live chat. There we go. I guess we are good. We are operational. Welcome to a new seven days today stream. Hello, Martin. How are you? Let me just quickly go. Hello, Pedro. Go over the schedule for this weekend. <clears throat> We're starting with a seven days today stream. Hello, two slide for you. How are you? And after that, we're going to go to session 67 of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000 on Twitch for the 2010 cult movie Rubber. Tomorrow, a new episode of Pacific Drive and also a live Lego assembly of the Batman Bat Cycle. And on Sunday, the flipping continues in House Flipper 2. So that's the schedule for this weekend. Hey, Paul. Hello, James. CDMME is here. Hello, Balal. There you go. And also, I wanted to show you, since we're here, I got my emulation stick. You see? This one over here. Hello, Jason. This thing, it's a game stick, you see? It has, like, a HDMI connector over there. And over here you get like a USB and you connect this and you can power a joystick that is included. This thing holds over 40,000 old games. It's an emulator stick. So we're going to do a little bit of Mystery Zombie Game 3000 with this. 40,000 arcade games, Commodore 64, Atari, Amiga, Atari ST, MSX, what do you want? whatever you want. Over here, 40,000 old school games. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Peggy says, hi JC and chat. By the way, just ordered me a new camera, so videos will be coming soon. Awesome. Hello, Pongo. CPM says, did you try it yet? Yet? I played a little bit. And it's pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna we're gonna check it out. Okay, so let's continue. As you can see, standard settings, but we're going to go to 60 minutes because it's a horde night. Uh, 60 minutes is actually the standard. I play on longer days. 64 enemies, maximum horde size. Everything normal. Here we go. We're going to have to start calling it the MZG 40K. The Emperor Protects. But yeah, it's actually like 41,000 games over here. So I'm thinking we're just going to plug it in. And then I'm going to ask people in chat to give me their like old games. No matter if they were from arcade or consoles or whatever. And we're going to see if they are there. We're going to play a little bit. The Emperor Protects. Exactly. Okay. So, as you can see, it is day 91. And this is a horde day. It is now 3 a.m. Hello, Joseph. How are you? And we've been, you know, like preparing... Uh, we don't have our main issue is that we don't have a lot of shotgun ammo for the shotgun turrets So I switch to shotgun slugs for my my personal shotgun and I am trying to you know like have as many shot regular shotgun shells for the turrets We got a lot of things being made here for instance Got a little bit of glue Got a little bit of oil. There's more oil and more gas. We start with the inventory management right away. Um. Hmm. That was a spider, spider, manic measure, and that old good games. I'm, I'm pretty sure both of them are there. We've been good. We've been good. There's a lot of zombies coming in this direction, but other, other than that, we'll be good. Oh, look at this. There was some paper here. Good. Uh, and over here we got a few more of these slugs. Okay, that's good. We can have those for the horde night. Over here we were making traps. We're gonna go and install those. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm making a... Yeah, over here we're making a little bit more of slugs and then the blade traps. I believe we were missing one blade trap. So that's good. I'm gonna just turn off this one in the meantime. Making some of that. And... I don't know where you are, but over here it is Good Friday. So it is actually a holiday. Or the Easter weekend. Peggy says, Bama is still in the NCAA tournament. Roll Tide. Awesome. Um, I'm thinking we should go and maybe... Because I got this paper. I got that paper. Jason says, I thought slugs do better at breaking down doors, not much zombies. Uh, yeah, but... Check this out. There's there's three times shotgun breaking slug, which this one is the one you use to breach doors. This one is shotgun armor piercing slugs, which should help us against the blasters. Demolishers. Blasters. And um, you get the regular shotgun shells. Day 81, Blood Moon. Is it more intense? We'll see. Probably. Okay, it's daytime. As you can see, someone turn on the sun. That's good. See if it means it's demolishers. No, blasters. I don't know why people can't just wrap their hand around that. It is blasters. Okay, let's just quickly go and ascertain the situation. Oh no, I need to just start making some stuff first. I got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we're gonna make shotgun shells oh we can actually make two of those not bad not bad okay that's good yeah this is the armor piercing shells so um uh, how many yeah we got su sufficient iron spice we got this we got that uh i'm going to just drop this back into the ammo box Inventory, one of the, you know, like the tenets of inventory management is not to run around with inventory that has not been managed, if that makes some sense. Like, you got some inventory to manage, you manage it. Of course, if you're running for your life, that can wait a little bit, but not too much. The inventory management must be done okay look at this look at this of uh, how gracefully we are now uh landing i can i can make this thing dance mid-air you see Boop. okay here we go jesus did you see the blood moon gameplay beat the pumping pumps uh, the, today yes i posted on the discord because you know we have a discord you should join the Discord if you have not the Discord, because the, the good stuff is there. So join the Discord. And you go to the 7 Days to Die section, and you will see the... Um, yes, one of these that we need. That's good. Uh, you will see the trailer, the fun pimps posted, for the new 7 Days to Die game. 7 Days to Die Horde is something. Okay, over here... Oh, I need to bring the... Yeah, I need to bring ammo. Okay. I need to bring ammo, I need to bring one of this. Have you heard about No One Survive? I think I actually have that one. I think Paul gifted it to me. I played it a little bit, but then, eh. Didn't really click with it. But if, if it is the one I'm thinking, yes, I, I have it. It looks nice, yeah. In fact, I think we played it on stream for a little bit. But like I said, it, it didn't, it didn't connect. Perhaps we will revisit it in the future. For now, we're just fixing all of this. So many games, so little time. Yes. What I need to do is, you know, like win the lotto. If I win the lotto, I promise you, you're going to get streams every day. You're going to get tons of content. 
but that's if I win the lot. Okay, this is good. This should help us create a defensive perimeter around the base of the of the horde base. Uh, oh crap, we need more. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit of damage in this area. I'm going to try and even it out. We have enough of these blocks. The base of the base. There. You see? Okay. I just don't want to give the zombies any um, chances to just blow everything up and do to catastrophic damage. What was that, Mike? Oh, okay, okay. Mike is telling me that preparations for the attack of the zombie horde are underway across all the outposts of the zombie research initiative and the defensive teams are taking the appropriate precautions. And that is good. Because you see our reports, our sensors indicate we are about to get hit with a very large horde of considerable destructive power stop trying to sound like you understand what you are talking about you credit taking monster shut up gladys yes we we want to maintain structural integrity and avoid uh you know the blasters demolishers blasters from just blowing up over here and destroying everything okay we're gonna go over here and got this one. Okay. I want to make make it as you know, like symmetrical as possible, so we don't have different performance on each side. I don't know if I have a wire tool over here so we can wire the traps. Also, we should have a little bit of uh, electric traps so we can get them uh, the electrifying action. Let me just check back here. What is it that we have? So we need ammo. No ammo. No ammo. Uh, nothing there. This thing is refueled. This thing is refueled. Yes, we want it to be shocking. I'm going to be over here dispensing justice. Actually, not over here. Most of the time, I'm going to be in the second area. You see, shooting the zombies like over here. Let's do a little bit of a testing of the armor piercing ammunition that I am now using in the shotgun. Let's see how it fares against like regular zombies. Oh, interesting. Never noticed that. There's a mega culvert. Look at this. This is what we call a mega culvert. If you type exclamation mark culvert, you will get an explanation of what a culvert. This is a regular culvert. This over here is a mega culvert. It's almost like a bridge. But still through to its roots as a culvert. Okay, we got zombies over here. Incoming enemies have the conflict. That was actually pretty good. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking we're gonna get good results with this. Always double tap, remember. That is a thick culvert, exactly. Not bad, not bad. We don't have as much spread, 
We got a chicken over here looking at a tire. I don't know what's going on over there. Hey, lady. Yeah, I think this will do. This will do. I'm a bit concerned about the chicken over there. I think the chicken was trying to... to steal the hubcaps. You know, like this uh, delinquent chicken. You still alive? Not anymore. Spy chicken. I wonder how the zombies get into the ceiling. I'm thinking maybe they were survivors. They got bitten. They hid in the ceiling, in the ceilings, and then they died, turned into a zombie, and they've been waiting there since the start of the zombie apocalypse. That is my theory. Or perhaps the zombies just wanted to do a little bit of work on the roof, climb up there. Who knows with these zombies? Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go back to the base. We need, we need ammunition for the turrets, wire tool, um, roofing zombies, exactly. We need electrical traps. We need blade, one blade trap for that. We need these traps there. And that thing, that's it. Yes, it's always nice to remember about the culverts. Okay, going up. It's a very nice day. A little bit of cloud over there, but I'm thinking that's not going to interfere with the visibility. Viva la culvert, yes. As you can see, the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative, the Sky City. Okay, I'm gonna try to land. Nice, I need- Oh, Jesus Christ! Ha 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 ha, that was funny. Greetings, Star Star, see you out. <sighs> yep. Oh, look at this. Good thing is that I have a plaster cast. I'm going to apply one of this. You're going to make a cover city? Awesome. I just plunge over 100 meters into what would have been like... Oh, yeah. Also, um, I should write a zombie novel. It would consist mostly of me falling. Yeah, at least I didn't die. I have a little bit of uh, health less left, but I didn't die. Marty says the force told me this would happen today. I miscalculated. I miscalculated. But it's okay. I didn't die. But... Okay, we're good. Jaren needs maintenance. I'm gonna fix it right now. Okay, we're at 48%. I'm going to do one more, actually. We're at 97%. We're good. Pressing E. Yes. It, it happens, you know? It just happens sometimes. <sighs> okay, ammo. Let's take all of the ammo that we need for the turrets. I know I was making a, uh, a navigational error due to miscalculation. Exactly. Three minutes to that. I need also a... I, I gotta juice up, otherwise I'm not going to be able to run. So I'm gonna take a couple of these steroids and juice up. Yes, pressing E by JC, an autobiography. Um, I'm gonna go up with the ravioli sauce. Also, I might get some breakfast because uh, it is 
getting kind of late. Gonna have a quick breakfast over here. Let me just store this there. Uh, I'm gonna have like a shepherd's pie. That's a beast of a breakfast. I, uh, an out of gyro experience. Also, also true. You know, I fly like an eagle. Have a beer. Oh, it's 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 ten to nine in the morning. It's a little bit early to be cracking a cold one open. Okay, we got one of those. That's good. I need a. Um, I need a wire tool. Pumping should introduce a new flying vehicle. As I understand, there are plans for more. Uh, electric fence. Yes. Okay, what am I missing? We got all of the shotgun shells we could make. I think there's a couple more being made over here. Yeah, that one. Um, um, I need the ammo for the anti-Walter defense system. This 9mm over here. All of that is for the anti-Walter defense system. And the other ammo... I'm gonna give to Siri, the 7.6, uh, Siri, where are you? It is a pleasure to serve. Whoa. Rip Chappie, also known as Louis Gossett Jr. Louis Gossett Jr. passed away? Damn. To be honest, I thought he had passed away years ago. Have a beer and pay extra. No, that's for the weed. Who, who I was thinking then about? That's weird. Uh, we got a couple of grenades. No, that's not good. How may I assist you? Okay, I'm just gonna put this there, 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 there. You see? Put in all of that there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I guess we're good. F for Chappy, yes. Uh, what else am I missing? We got the iron spike traps, we got the blade trap, we got the wire tool, we got the electric fence post. I think we have everything we need. Can we make lanterns? This requires a lot of oil, electrical parts, duct tape. No, duct tape I don't have. Yeah, I don't have a duct tape to spare. I think we're good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Gotta move fast. Don't press E. Don't press E. This is exactly like uh, yesterday in the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate Super Duper Shiny Edition. I was fighting this battle in a highway. And... The, 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 the keys were mapped horribly, so I needed extra fingers to do the proper, you know, like, thing. Pedro says, don't forget to dispense justice on the algorithm for GC. Yes, exactly. No hate watching. Hate watching is uh, described as the phenomenon where you watch something and you don't like it. Causing the almighty YouTube algorithm to go, this guy. Okay, that's good. This is good. I'm going to go over here. And let's see about the ammo. First, we're going to do the ammo. Hello, Pontus. Welcome to the stream. The anti-Walter defense system. There, there, there. Lock ammo. There, there, there. No. And there, unlock the ammo. Okay, we got the anti-Walter defense system. Down here. I'm going to just put over here the rest of the ammo for the anti-Walter defense system. We're going to load this shotgun uh, turrets. Lock ammo. And this one with all we have. Lock ammo. 
Hopefully Almighty Cthulhu never forgets his minions. We have not had contact with Mighty All Cthulhu since the last How alpha. Because, you know, we destroyed several ancients and also we discovered the Oblivion Gate. And he got a little bit spooked, if you ask me. Because the Oblivion Gate is supposed to be like a reality ender device. Or at least that's what has happened in every reality where an Oblivion Gate has been discovered. Luckily, in our reality, or I don't know if luckily or not, but when the zombies breach the defenses of a Castle Ravenloft, they, the, the Oblivion Gate activated and disappeared, actually taking Mike and a bunch of personnel with them to this reality, and we followed here. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. He's probably just having a nap. Yes. In his, uh, uh, you know, like underwater city of Rilia. You need to read the lore for that. Only in House Flipper you workshop him. I don't know what that is. There is no possibility for me to know anything about that. Okay, let's see. Nothing is connected. So, let's connect this thing to that one. Let's connect this one to that one. And I'm going to go daisy chaining this, you see? There you go. There, 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 there. Okay, that's good. Now, we got 12 of these electric fence posts. And I would really like to have some electrifying action, like over here. Let me see. This is a family show. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's a family show. Um, hmm. Paul says, I made a pencil with two erasers. It was pointless. Okay, what I'm going to do... Because this seems to be operational now. Let's just test it real quick. Okay, everything is spinning. Everything is being targeted here. This one is also working. Um, let's see on the roof. I mean, this one is good to go up on the roof. I need to go back down. Is this operational? Yes. That is connected to this one, so we should get warnings in case the zombies are coming over here. We're good. Uh, okay, I had an issue now because I need to go up there. Yeah, we're gonna have to nerf all this. Otherwise, I'm gonna get sliced and diced. And that will not be good. Okay, Siri, can you please move over here? Thank you. Serious pathing is strange sometimes. She wants to help, but she ends up flying in the line of fire. Okay, I think we're gonna get... Yeah, we got a, an airdrop. Oh, look at this. They drop it like, right there. Nice. I'm just gonna go ahead. 
and get this one rotate it there you go oh come on there you go you see and I'm going to turn everything off so we don't get absolutely destroyed when building. Yep, it's right there. Like right there. I can actually walk over there and get it. Let me first install the electrifying situation things. So this is going to go from over there, here, and there. Daisy chain has a clean meaning, not so clean meaning. Oh, but electricians use the clean meaning, you know? This is daisy chain. I don't know what the hell other meaning might be, but this is the proper meaning. Yeah, their aim is improving, they just dropped it right there. There you go, and there you go. You really need to get a hold of the shield technology. Yeah. And we go there, and there. Okay, there we go, that's good. I don't know if I should waste um, more of the electrifying things down here. Because they probably get destroyed really quickly. That's great. So, this one connects to the other one. And this one connects to that one. This one connect. I forgot one. To this one. And this one connects to that one. Uh, it doesn't seem that I have forgotten anything. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing electricity flowing from both things. Yeah, you see, you see electricity flowing in both directions. So the connections, I'm thinking they're sound. Just put that over there and that over there. Okay. Uh, also, we're going to go. First one on the right as you go up the ramp. First one on the right as you go up the ramp. No, it is connected, you see? This one connects to that one and this one connects to the outer one. And that one connects to the inner one and this one connects to the inner one. Second set. Okay, I'm t I took a little bit of damage. I need to juice up. Sorry. Think of the movie Human Centipede, but not so literal. Unless that's something you're into. No. Ew. Okay, so this one goes over there. And this one goes over there. This one goes over there. And this one goes over there. And you can see that they are crisscrossing, you see? From the left on the right. So, it's good. It is operational. I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Let's just go and get that... Um, the airdrop. Which is like over here. And we shake it all around. You do the... Um, uh, what is it that you call that? The hokey pokey? Oh, there it is. I have a visual on the airdrop. Mike, I'm going to get the airdrop. So it's possible to do a two-way voltage now. It just appears like that. It's not two-way voltage. It's uh, it's just that the um, the wires are overlapping, but they are actually just one way. You know, it's two L's in different directions and they overlap, but you can actually see both wires, so you know that the connection is sound. 
The hokey pokey is the Okay, good. And then we turn it all around. Absolutely bananas. Yes, I know. Oh, look at this. A level 6 tactical assault rifle. And some magazines that I have actually not read. Let me see. This is current alternating. Yes, but they are also just showing you like one direction for clarity's sake. And we got a little bit of this, not bad. The, the wire is blue instead of yellow when it's overlap. Um, maybe. Oh. ACDC, exactly. Okay. Uh, got a couple of this. I think we're ready. We need to go back. Said three or more person hokey pokey. Why are you still talking about the daisy chaining? Damn it. Go watch Bill's documentary. Then provide a good summary about that. When are we going to be able to stream that, you know? You are supposed to be like one of the producers of the thing. You're wondering what is it talking about? Is that because Jason is in a project with William Shatner, Captain Kirk himself in the movie. Like a I Am Bill documentary or something like that. Currently uh, being shown on cinemas. But in theory, it will be available for uh, streaming at some point. Okay, what is that? Oh, those are temporary blocks. I don't know. Jesus, I'll behave. Good. Pongo said, we need the Final Fantasy VII Super Shine Edition 3 Face Boy fi Boss Fight elect uh, uh, Electrics. Yeah, well, I was fighting the electric thing for like half an hour yesterday. Daisy Chain is the same as in the series. Driving Miss Daisy? What? Oh. My. God. Shut up, Gladys. I just, just landed in a non-very optimal fashion. It was a stunt landing. Exactly. Okay, let's just put this over here. Why are the lights off? Mike, there appear to be some sort of power issues with the Element Zero reactor. I'm, I'm losing power somewhere. Send some guys from the, you know, Advanced Propulsion Project to check it out after the Horde Night, okay? This is Star Star. See you head out. Thanks, bro. A three-point landing. Eh, better than a one-point landing when I just land on my face. Cutbacks imposed by accounting. No, no, it's not, not... It's not necessary for you to concern with that guys from accounting. You made me summon them by... Speaking their name. You're always, like, listening, you know? Always listening. Okay, let's just put this over here. Put that over there. Um... What do we have here? We got vitamins and herbal antibiotics, which we actually need. I got this thing. I'm gonna take one of those, a couple of those, in case anything happens. Maybe a couple of those. One more there. And I think that's pretty much it. Because we got antibiotics, we got vitamins, we got painkillers, we got steroids, we got plaster cast. I'm gonna put one more juice in and one more vitamin in. Okay, now we need the Mathilda. Where is my Mathilda? There it is.
but let me see mods. I think the Mathilde is missing this mod. Yep. Now the Mathilda is just ready for action. Just put this up there. You said that. We that, just that. got a stream elements PayPal tip, you monster. And we got a PayPal tip from Fuzzy Barth from the uh, West of Loathing uh, series. You know? And Shadows Over Loathing. It says, boo long and um, hard. Boo the corners and boo the ceilings. Exactly. That is a pretty cool series. I I urge you to watch it. Ah, easy, easy, easy! Come on, come on. There we go. Jason says, when a county can afford a simple light bulb, then you know you have a problem. Someone or something, someone is a funneling money. Yeah, you know, accounting does that, you know. Where does the, this Mathilda come from? Have you ever watched The Professional with... Um, uh, Leon The Professional with... Um, what's, what's the name of the guy? Reno? Jean Reno? Hey, Game Master Tim Seaholm is here. Hello, Tim. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're preparing for the Fortnite. That is a pretty cool movie, and I'm not going to spoil it, but in the final scene, and Gary Oldman, exactly, uh, uh, Leon says to the bad guy, this is from Mathilda, you know, John Reno, yes, we're good, we're good, we're preparing for the Horror Night, it is now 1619, so we got a couple hours, yes. So, and also, in Resident Evil 4, there is a, a special weapon called the Mathilda. So, I thought the most powerful weapon in Seven Days to Die should be called the Mathilda. So, when you're just shooting zombies, you can tell them this is from Mathilda. You need assistance? Yes. I want to sell you this. I don't want to sell you this. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. Do we have anything else here? Hmm. Water filters. I have a couple more in the base. I added two more. Um, uh, oh, we should get this. Two more do collectors because water is important and since we cannot get water anymore peace be with you my friend uh like in jars because jars were removed which some people actually you know lost their about that um it is important to have um, the um, the do collectors. R.I.P. jars. Yes. Okay, let's go and try to... Oh, I forgot. Let's go back to the Sky City because I was making a little bit more of shotgun shells. Jason says, I like how he sleeps in that movie. He can sleep upright in a chair like that. It's actually fairly comfortable if you used to. Yes, Leon sleeps like that. He sleeps in a in a like in a sofa with sunglasses. You miss your jars? Yes. They were good jars. It's getting dark. And since we're doing this, remember this is the schedule for the weekend. We're playing seven days to die, and after we're done, we're going to switch over to Twitch. For session 67 of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000 and the 2010 movie. It's a cult movie, Rubber. Tomorrow, you get another Pacific Drive episode, and at around 4 p.m. my time, we're going to do the Lego Bat Cycle live build. And on Sunday, House Flipper. Be advised that the seven days, I mean seven days to die, a Mystery Zombie Theater 3000 will be like half an hour later than usual. Because I need to go pick up some people who are now at church because of Good Friday. 
So I need to do like the, you know, carrying, ferrying people around. So yeah, after we finish this, there's going to be like a break of about an hour and a half. And then we're jumping over to Twitch for the 2010 movie Rubber. Okay, I think we're done here. Let me just get more of that. So in the meantime, just, just subscribe to the Twitch. There should be the description on the video or if you type exclamation uh, mark Twitch. I don't need this, actually. Yeah, we're going to watch Rubber. It is absolutely an insane movie. It is one of the most bizarre movies I've ever seen. There was no house flipper last Sunday or mid no 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 well last last weekend we had back-to-back -back episodes of um, Pacific uh, of uh, Pacific Drive. Okay, we're good here. Okay. Anything else that we may be missing? Because it is now close to 6 p.m. Siri. It is a pleasure to serve. How are you with the ammo? You got a lot of ammo for the Magnum. We got a lot of ammo for this. Pegasus has never heard of it. It is absolutely bananas. It is about a sentient tire with telekinetic powers. If you remember the movie Scanners, where they like focus and blew their people's heads off, this tire like literal car tire rolling around the road killing people it is absolutely bananas and at the same time there's always people watching this happen with binoculars from like it's like an audience so it's some of the weirdest i've ever seen in my life highly recommend you watch it in session 67 of mystery zombie theater 3000 like I said, a little bit over an hour after we finish this. At 10 p.m. my time. Just so you know, right now it is 7.48 my time. Jason says, Robert, a movie about the Paris of a broken prophylactics. Not quite, but close. The name is a little bit misleading sometimes. But you will see, it's just bananas. See, Bimia says 7.50. Oh, I have the same time as you again? Oh, I'm going to check it out. Then, in theory, I should be able to... Uh, to change the time command. Well, if you join the Discord, you will see the events are there. So that you, can, you can see your... Prop, uh, your uh, you know, like uh, in your uh, particular time zone. What time is it? Hey, Siri, can you get over here? Great to see you, Master. Okay, give me this. Give me that. Pedro says 23.50. Oh, that's, yeah, late. It's going to be like at um, 1 a.m. for you. Okay, the last thing we need to do in France, yeah. Lock on time, yeah, you see the, the command is not working, but it should work now when I am able to update it. If I'm using the same times on a CDP media, it should be, uh, I should be able to just do it. In fact, while we wait here, let me just do a little bit of programming on the fly. On the fly. Stream elements. And streaming tools. Overlays. No, this is chatbot. Chat commands. Custom commands. Time. Uh, time EST. 
Okay, someone try the... Someone try the... The time command now. Okay, I guess we're... We're good. We have all of this. Uh, unless I'm going to... It's no EST. What time is it your time, CDP Mia? You said 17... Oh, you said... What? Sorry. You said 1753? Or did you say... 750, yeah. What time are you on? It's not EST, right? Yeah, it works, but it's, it's wrong. It's not 553. It's 753 for me. Let's just walk around. But like I said, on the Discord, if you join the Discord, the elements... Uh, but you said 753. It is 753 for me as well. That's kind of weird. Eternity says, I'm ready and plus you still play this. Such imagination and dedication. Love it. Been watching you for a long time. Pick it, uh, keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, look at my base over there. It's big. CDP Media says, I was correcting your time. Thank you. Well, uh, next weekend we move our clocks. We move our clocks, um, you know, back one hour. So then I'm going to be on EST, I guess. Yeah, squishy. Very squishy. Uh, let's see what we have here. CPMS says you have GMT. No, I don't have GMT. I'm at GMT minus three right now. GMT is like London. Uh, can I open this? Okay. Same longitude. No, I'm not. I'm not in the same longitude. I'm, you know, like um, I'm, I'm. I'm in the same longitude as New York. Oh, look at this. We got. But the thing is that time zones have moved because of the daylight savings. So even though I'm like in a straight line to New York in terms of longitude, uh, we have different times now. Multi bombs, I guess. The bridge base was back back in the day, inspired me to start playing. Fortunately, console version uh, fell off. Oh yeah, the 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 bridge base back in Alpha uh, uh, 15. That was pretty cool. Okay, I guess we are good. Siri, where are you? All systems go. How may I help? No, actually, I'm going to put this in the gyro. Of course, the the the, the boomstick with the armor piercing slugs is not as great for crowd control as the shotgun shells are but it's better because we can put the shotgun shells to use in the turrets so let's just put that and i'm gonna put this as a a hail mary in case the base is overrun. You sent me a screenshot of the time setup. Okay. I will take a look at the screenshot of the time setup. Okay, I guess we are good, people. It's about to go down. Get ready. I'm going to close this. Turn on. Turn on. And I'm going cinematic. So good luck to everybody. Uh, Gladys, contact all members of the Zombie Research Initiative. Please tell them to initiate a um, Horde Night Protocol. This is Gladys. All hands, initiate Horde Night Protocol. Hostiles approaching. The use of heavy weapons has been authorized. Stay safe out there and good hunting. Awesome. 
Mike, you ready on your end, bro? Yeah, Cash TOT 16. All field teams are ready? Three to the start, star, see that out. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it is a pleasure to serve. You got extra ammo for the Mathilda in case it is needed. Okay, I'm going to repair the crowd pleaser. I'm going to repair the Desert Eagle and repair the shotgun. We got five more of this, so it's good. And also, I'm going to leave that. Ready for duty. With you, I'm going to leave the iron shovel, the hunting knife, the wench, and the nail gun, the pickaxe, the steel axe. And we're going to proceed to install the sledges. Yeah, we've been th uh, through a lot of stuff with Mike. Okay, can I just... Can you please move a little bit? Thank you. Okay. There's one. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. And there's the other one. The sledges are being deployed. Okay, sledges operational. Half an hour until the horde hits and we are ready to start dispensing some justice. Anti-water defense systems on the roof, lock and loaded. And zombie defense systems here are ready check that everything is loaded flaming sledges exactly hello the hippie killer how are you good look at this look at the Mathilda it's about to get heavy, people. I'm actually going to be up here because I got a better view of the kill zone, which is over here. That was a flamethrower weapons and traps would be awesome. Agreed. Agreed. Look at this. The zombies are going to get electrified and are going to get sliced and diced. And then they're going to get punched. And then they're going to also receive a little bit of justice in the face. It turns is 5 o'clock somewhere. Quick, shout out from Montana. Love this channel. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, we got incoming. We got incoming. Electrifying. Mole. Whoa. Burst. Walter. There's a Walter over here. Okay, let's go down. Get Good. A shocking performance. Water. Come on, you stupid thing. What the hell are you doing Water. over there? Nice. 
yellow bags, they're too far away, Sammy. Let's see. Nah, they're far away. Too far away. We're fighting the max number of zombies. 64 zombies. At all times. And everybody is just doing the electric boogaloo. Yeah, the Matilda. With the aiming mod. Okay, time to dispense some justice with this. Yeah, Electric Avenue. Yeah, we're dispensing justice. There you go. Have some justice. You stupid bird. A crap ton of zombies is probably what your sensor has picked up. Nice. Okay, come on. Next wave, next wave. Anti-Walter defense system is engaging. Like a pest dispenser boy. Oh! Incoming! Incoming! Recognize your neighbor. Eh, yeah, well. Ah, there we go. Whoa. There's too many walkers tonight. Mike? Mike, how are you, bro? Mike has the situation under control. Holy crap! Yeah, 
That thing blew up right here. with the cream present. Yes. Receive some, receive some justice to the face. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this one is done. Oh, no, it's not done. Well... This ledge is down. The grenades? Hey, I don't know, man. Repair. Okay. Yeah. 
Cabeça! Stop shaking! Stop shaking! To, to fix or repair. Come on! Comments, but I need to deploy this ledgy. Okay, deploy this ledgy there. Come on, come on, come on, deploy it. Come on. Okay, I deployed just this ledgy. They're getting through to my bullets, I agree. Come on, come on. Walter, I saw you. You're not allowed here. We did it, 4 a.m. Pray and pray, exactly. Come on. Everybody clean up. Mike, how's everything on you, Embro? Awesome. I'm cleaning up over here. We got still. We got a lot of zombies. Ow! Oh. 
It was, uh, we got several walters flying around. I'm thirsty as well. I'm going to drink a little bit. I think we got someone over here. Yeah, there was an interloper. Okay, time to go and do some cleaning. Siri, where are you? All systems go. How may I help? My senses have picked up something. I'm gonna need a few bullets. Thank you. Time to go. Ooh, look at the amount of loot we have. Okay, we did it. I hear someone. This guy. Okay, good. Let me do just do a little quick change to 120 minutes days so we don't lose the entire day. Uh, where's the thing? There. 120 minute days. But we survived. We survived. Base took more damage. Because, well, at some point the sledge has got a little bit overrun. F for Walter. Yeah, but not an F of respect. An F of... <sighs> <sighs> now we got a lot, a lot of loot. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. Let's start with the blue bags. And there's even red bags. Look look at this. Got a lot of loot. Shovels. Is there any more red bags? No. Got a treasure map there. Okay, I'm going to scrap this, read that, read this, read that. Okay, let's drop some stuff here in the gyra. No, drop stuff in the gyra. Also, I'm going to read this. So, put that, scrap this, uh, put this, this, this. I'm just gonna read that. I don't give a rat's ass. Put that over there. This one, this one, this one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one. All of this goes there. In the gyro. Okay. Good. Now we go. Now we go. Zombie horde punishes, but resourceful. Yes. You see, a lot of people, when they got zombified, apparently were carrying, like, for instance, uh, steel ingots in their pockets or up their asses. Who knows? We don't judge. Uh, or shovels as well. Which we get right now from the zombies. Must have been a little bit uncomfortable to be walking around with a shovel up your ass. But... Or a boot. I missed the blue bag on the floor. Was a blue bag on the floor? Where's the blue bag on the floor? Blue bag? I don't see blue bag. Let's see up here. Okay, let's go and do a little bit more inventory. She just passes on the outside in a little pit. Okay. One second. I'm just put that over there. Uh, read this, read that. Read this, read this, read that. Scrap this and scrap that. Put all of this back over here. Mm. 
Let's see if any of this we can. Put that over there, that over there. That one over there. Okay. You keep a Matilda beyond my ass in case I get killed for, for zombies. Yes, it happens. Oh, look at this. There was a blue ball. Whoa, what's going on? I was getting like the frames. Okay, we got the blue bag. We got the blue bag. And I think we got... Oh, there's a yellow bag over here. So, let's ascertain the damage. We actually have... To replace only three of these blade traps. Which I don't think are doing much. To be completely honest. I don't think the blade traps are doing much work. I think there might be replaceable the zombies destroyed this thing let's see up here whoa look at this the zombies actually breach over here wow i think i need to increase the anti-walter defense system everything is empty Everything is empty. It is a pleasure to serve. Okay, you got my stuff. So I'm just gonna put this over there, this over there, that over there, this over there. And you get you get this, this, put that, put this, put that, this, there, there. Give you a sunroof. Exactly. Now you can see you, you get the sun from up there. But we survived. That's good. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm allergic to zombies. There's a lot of like zombie dust. Yeah, I got some destruction here. Thank you. Okay, good. We're not bad. Okay, let's quickly go back to the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative. The researcher says, salute. Thank you. Let's try not to press E mid-air so we, you know, die. I think the corn is mostly ready, maybe. And get ready for the inventory management of your lives. Because it's about to go down. Check this out. Check this inventory management. I don't need this. I don't need that. Because this inventory management is going to be epic. Uh, do we have weapons? Um, it is inventory management time. One of the main reasons why people watch this channel. Tools. Later on, we're going to be doing some... Uh, we're going to be selecting what is it that we need from this. And what can be discarded. But in the meantime, the inventory management is happening. Parts, 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 parts. This. This is food. Okay. Oh, this this one was destroyed. There you go. Prepared. Well, speaking about this game, no one survived. Also, I have a great inventory management. Yeah, like I said, I tried it, but did not really click with it. It looked nice. When I tried it, it was months ago. It was a little bit unpolished in certain areas. Uh, yeah, this one goes over here. This one, this one, this one. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna put that one over there. 
ammo. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, that one, this one. Okay, thinking we need more room. Yeah, we need to finish the infirmary because we need room for all of this stuff, you know? Don't really have room for this. Updates, yeah. Probably doing some updates. Over here, refine. This is there. You know, we got surprising amount of food. And the zombies were walking around with a lot of food. This is parts, not... Sorry. I misclick. There has been a corruption in the inventory management workflow. That is unacceptable. Have done, but maybe wait for it. Okay. Let's do real quick over here. Because if you remember, I need to go pick up some people at church. CP me says, unacceptable. I agree. Absolutely unacceptable. Inventory management must be done according to the uh, parameters set forth in the inventory management uh, agreements. Any of that that we can place there, and the rest goes over here. Got some good, got some good uh, food. He says, "His main merchant has been shot to hell now, because the inventory management was corrupted." But don't worry, we have restored the sanctity of the inventory management by taking care of the anomalies that happened during inventory management. Great to see you, master. Thank you, Siri. We got a couple of these things. That's good. Okay, yeah, I don't have room for that. I, I need to finish the infirmary. Definitely, I need to finish the infirmary. And over here, the weapon, the tools, they go over here. Okay. I guess we did it. What do we have here? Nothing. And over here, nothing. And over here, nothing. And over here, nothing. So I'm going to turn it off. Get back that because it is important to have everything. Okay, we survive at the 91st day horde. Yeah. It's just things sorting through. I'll get over it. Yeah, okay. We survived. That's That's pretty good. So I need to finish the infirmary over here. I need to work on this area, which is going to be like the the barracks and the um, break room. And of course, we need to start building the the lunar vessel, like in this area, so we can put it in the launch pad. But you know, we, we first needed to survive. That was the thing. We needed to survive. So now that we survive, we're good. Okay, so. I guess that is it for this one. Remember, this is the schedule for this weekend. We just had our seven days to die horde night. And in one and an hour and a half. So now it's 831 for me at my 10 p.m. One hour and a half from now. We're jumping over to the Twitch exclamation mark Twitch or in the description of this video. For session 67 of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000 with the 2010 cult movie Rubber. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Don't the the, the local time is bad. It's just it's 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 732. But okay. Uh, so yeah, rubber in an hour and a half from now on Twitch. Tomorrow we get another episode of Pacific Drive. And also at 4 p.m. my time, we're going to be building the uh, Lego Technique the Bat Cycle thing. It's going to be awesome. And on Sunday, House Flipper 2. So yeah, that's the schedule for this weekend. So if you want to watch a movie, see you in an hour and a half on Twitch. If not, well, you got a lot of content coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed this stream. That's it for now. And uh, see you next time.